Okay, today I'm going to teach you how to insert videos into photos in Canva. And for today's tutorial, I'm not just going to teach you how to insert a video into a frame because I know that a lot of us already know that this is pretty basic in Canva. Today, I'm going to teach you how to create this trick that you see on the screen right now. And for this trick, as you can see, the video are inside our sunglasses and we cannot find in Canva a video with this specific shape. So I got you covered. I'm gonna explain how to create this effect, how to insert videos in a very specific shape. And for this, we are going to be using a Canva Pro feature. So if you guys are interested in this tutorial, let's go to my computer. In today's tutorial, we are going to recreate this photo that we see right here. If you pay close attention, we have some hearts moving inside our sunglasses and these are videos. So I'm going to show you how to do that. We have the same example, but with a different photo, different video. If you pay attention, we have some clouds moving inside Ronnie's glasses, which I find really cool. And finally, I have this last idea. We are not going to recreate this one, but you will understand later on how to recreate it. This is a photo of somebody holding a coffee mug or coffee cup and I added a video of a coffee grinder inside so this gives us the illusion or something like that that this coffee is super fresh because it smells like the coffee beans being grinded so let's start And for this tutorial, I just want to remind you once again that we are going to be using a Canva Pro feature. So if you have a Canva free account and would like to try out this feature or this trick, you can use my affiliate link that I'm going to leave in the description of this video. With this link, you will be able to enjoy 45 days of Canva Pro for free, which are 15 days more than what you will usually get on Canva's website. So you will get a lot more. Okay, let's start. I'm going to bring my photo to my empty page. I already have it here on my uploads and I'm going to bring my photo to my empty Canva page. And having our photo selected, we are going to this toolbar and select effects. Here is where we are going to be using this Canva Pro feature, which is the background remover. Let's click on it. We are going to wait until Canva removes the background and then we are going to do the special step for this trick. Okay, so now that we have our photo without the background, we are going to click on restore. So you see now we have access to this background remover editor let's say. And what I'm going to do is to increase the restore brush size with this slider. So let's move it until 100. This is going to make my job easier. Then we are going to restore all the background because we want our photo to be complete, right? This is not what we want for this specific effect. Now I'm going to zoom. If you see below here, we have this slider to make our image bigger. And I'm going to concentrate now in our sunglasses. So let's start with my photo. So I'm going to zoom really, really close and then select erase. And now we are going to adjust the brush size and we are going to have into consideration the area where we want to include or insert our video, right? So in this case, I want to insert my video in my sunglasses. So I will try to make the brush size almost as big as my sunglasses. So with one click, I almost remove all the area. Just going to reduce the size a little bit more. And of course, I want this shape or the shape of the sunglasses to be removed completely. So I'm going closer, even closer. So because I want to remove the corners of my sunglasses, I will need to reduce the size of my brush. So let's make our brush smaller. So basically I selected the biggest version of the brush at the beginning just to erase the biggest part easily and I don't have to click so many times with my small brush. And I just do the little details 
with a small brush like this you would like to spend some time doing this you know like get very into the details because this is going to make your photo look very realistic you know like very professional so just spend some time here and then you will like to erase the other area in your photo that you also want to delete in this case i'm going to delete ronnie's sunglasses as well I'm going to play around with the size of my brush and then go in the corner of the sunglasses and delete the corners as well and be very precise with the places that I'm removing. And I want to mention something here because maybe you are doing this part of the process, you are deleting something very carefully and then by accident you do something like this. But if it happened that you made a mistake, you can just Ctrl Z or Ctrl C or Command Z and you will be able to restore that part of the photo or maybe you realized at the end of, you know, like erasing all these little details that you chopped an important part of your photo you can always use the restore brush and go back to that area that you want to restore like this and then you will be restoring some important parts of your photo so don't be scared to try it out just be patient and you will get there okay i have my photo ready i have removed the part of the photo inside our sunnies and then i'm going to click on done and then apply okay now that we have our photo without the sunnies or the lenses we are going to the videos section here in canva and we are going to type hearts or hearts let's see what we find over here and as you can see we have plenty of options you can select a different video if you wish but i'm going to use the one that i showed you in the original design which is this one. Let me show you the name of the video in case that you want to use it. Sweetheart's heart shape background. Then what I'm going to do is to reduce the size of this video, almost like the size of my sunglasses, like this. If I want, I can tilt the video like this. And then I'm going to duplicate this video and then go to Ronnie's face and position it like this. Lastly, what we're going to do is to take our photo and position it forward and forward. And like that, we have the video in our photo, inserted into our photo. If you want, you can also group these elements. And voila, we have the video in a very, very specific shape inserted into our photo. And for this photo, I followed exactly the same steps that I just showed you, but I used a cloud video. And lastly, for this one, in case that you want to try this trick with photos and videos available in Canva, you can go to photos and type coffee. It's called woman holding a cup of coffee. So you see, we had a normal cup of coffee over here. I deleted the center of the coffee mug. And then for the video, you would like to type coffee moving. And then I guess the one that I used is the second video called coffee beans moving in grinder 2. So this is the video that I used behind the photo of the woman holding a cup of coffee. <laughs> and yeah this is it i think this trick is going to help you create amazing videos something that everyone is going to ask you hey how did you do that did you create it in canva this is going to really really help you go ahead and really show off your canva skills and if you're still watching this video i really hope that you liked it remember to leave us a thumbs up subscribe this is going to help us show youtube that our videos or our content is valuable last 
lastly, I also want to remind you guys that if you are using Canva free and want to try this trick out, I'm going to leave you guys an affiliate link over here so you can try Canva Pro for 45 days. You can also find the link in the description of the video. And I'm also going to leave you guys two tutorials right here in case that you want to keep learning about Canva. I guess this is it for today. I really hope that you like the video and see you in another tutorial. Bye!